Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I edit a photo of Disney in Lightroom and Photoshop. The look I was going for was somewhat fantasy and warm tones, so it's a little bit imaginative, so stay tuned. The plan here is to replace the sky in this photo, saturate the patches on his coat a little bit, and also take a look at that leash and delete that out of the photo. I'm gonna right click on my photograph here, and I am going to create a virtual copy. This is just a great way to create multiple versions of a single shot. For all of you out there trying to make those Instagram bangers, uh, you got to get the five by four crop going on. So what you're going to do is you're going to just go over to the crop tool and just click on original. And in here, we're going to enter custom. And for our aspect ratio, we're going to enter five by four. Oh yeah. Okay, great. Now this just happens to be a vertical photo, but if for some reason you had a horizontal photo and you wanted to keep it that way, just push the X key and you can get the five by four horizontal crop. But we're gonna keep this one vertical. And all I'm basically doing is trying to use the rule of thirds here to line up. See, I lined up the uh, top grid with his eyeball just to get the user to kind of like focus in on that. I like to try to keep a little bit of headroom. I'm okay with that. All right, so once you're done, just click done. I'm just gonna do a couple of the quick adjustments in Lightroom that I don't really wanna fool around in Photoshop doing. So one of the first things I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna work on the eyes. And you can always zoom in, just hit the command key and then equals, and that'll move you right in because I wanna get into his eyes. So one of the first things I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take a brush or you can press the K key. All right, and that's gonna bring up the brush tool. And one of the first things that I wanna do is I wanna lift the exposure a little bit, not by much, maybe just by 0.5. And then also for the eyes, I wanna boost the clarity just a little bit. So it's already default in the four and I'm okay with that. You can see here that I have my brush ready to go. If you wanna make your brush bigger, just use the bracket key on the right to make it a little bit bigger or the bracket key on the left to make it just a little bit smaller. If you wanna see what you're doing while you're painting, press the O key. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and paint over the entire eyeball, boost the exposure, and boost the clarity. And again, on the other eye. You can already tell that we've brightened up those eyes a little bit. Now, another thing that I wanna go ahead and do is I wanna actually isolate those catch lights in his eyes and boost those a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in and I'm actually gonna boost the clarity of just those catch lights that you see in there on that side and then on that side. So I'm gonna use the K for my brush tool make my brush just a little bit smaller because I really want to get in there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is not so much in the clarity this time, but just the exposure. I'm going to go in and I am going to paint on those catch lights. And here. There. And then again on this eye. All right, because really in any portrait, even a dog, you're, you're basically wanting to draw that you are to the eyes. Outstanding, great. So one of the next things that I wanna do is I wanna think about his fur here. I'm gonna take a new brush and not worry about exposure here, just sharpness. I'm gonna boost it by, up by a bit, so maybe 33. Um, and I'm gonna boost the clarity just a bit. And what we're gonna do is I'm mainly focusing on his face here. Just gonna make our brush, pretty large brush. And we're just going to go ahead and paint in, paint in some sharpness and clarity. On his coat. You could be as detailed or as general as you would like to be with this. This is basically like a portrait. And I'm not gonna add it to his tongue, just basically his face, right? So there you have it. And then once again, before, after we can hide those adjustments with the H key. So before and after. Very good. We're gonna zoom back out. I'm gonna take the radial filter here and just draw a little oval 
over Disney. I'm basically just trying to focus on his face here. And what I'm gonna do with the radial filter is I'm gonna reduce the sharpness and drop the shadows. So we have before and after we'll have those adjustments before. You can see it's just getting a little bit darker. All right, so the next thing that we wanna go ahead and do is make some slight adjustments on the tongue. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a new brush. Actually, what I wanna do is I wanna raise those shadows up just a little bit. I'm gonna zoom in so I can see what I'm doing here. lighten up the tongue just a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and edit this in Adobe Photoshop. So we have our photo of Disney here in Photoshop and one of the first things I'm gonna do to make this photo a little bit more interesting is replace this blown out sky with something a little bit more interesting. Here's just a photo that I downloaded from the internet. I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna flip horizontal. Just put it kinda over here. Select off of that. Change my blending mode to multiply. Select my layer. It's going to tell me that I need to rasterize the object. And what I'm going to do is just paint with a very large brush just across the bottom there. I don't want that sky on my houses. And just to make it a little bit more interesting and realistic, I'm just gonna filter blur and Gaussian blur. 30 pixels, that's fine. That just blends it in a little bit better. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna add a gradient map with these colors and the shadows and the highlights that I let you know about. So I'm gonna go down here and we're gonna select gradient map. I know it looks a little scary, just double click on that there. And basically this just allows us to put a certain hue in the shadows or the highlights. So just double click there and here you can enter like a custom number. Uh, so in shadow, we're gonna use 174153, which is somewhat of like a tealish color. And then in the highlights, we're gonna use this number, DC6 Bravo 00, which is sort of like an orange color. I know it looks a little bit scary, but we're gonna change the blending mode to soft light. So soft light. Okay, still a little bit much there. So what we can also do is reduce the opacity. Yeah, so just a hint of it, maybe around 40%. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some color balance to the midtones. And basically what this allows us to do is add some variation to the photo without affecting the brightness or the contrast. We're gonna add color balance to our midtones. And for the red, maybe six or perhaps eight. Okay, so we just add a little bit there and then we're gonna add some in the blues plus five. Because I don't want Disney to be like this blue dog. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is select on my mask here and I'm just gonna make my brush a little bit smaller and I am going to paint with black, press the X key. All right, so when you're painting with white, you're revealing. When you're painting with black, you are concealing. All right, I do not want Disney to be a blue dog. So I'm just gonna paint back in his true colors there. Cause I don't need Disney to be blue. I just want him to be himself, so he's back in the game. All right, so now that we have him back and our color balance is added, we're gonna add a photo filter. And this is basically just going to give us some warm tones. So I'm just gonna keep everything as is, this warming filter 85, keep the density at 25. Next thing, I do wanna mask out him, because once again, I don't want that to affect Disney. So my B for my brush tool, painting with black, and again, I don't want that extra warmth affecting Disney. The next thing we're gonna do is add some saturation to those orange patches on his coat. 
hue saturation. And with that, I'm just going to increase my saturation by maybe 21. But this time I don't want to saturate the entire image. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and invert my mask. So just for a Mac, just command I, control I. And basically this time I'm going to paint with white because I want to reveal. So I'm going to push my X key to change that to white so I can reveal that just the size of my brush with the bracket keys, you know, left bracket makes it a little bit smaller and the right bracket makes it a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to paint in these orange patches here. Just to add a little bit of saturation to those areas of his coat. Make my brush a little bit smaller. Just kind of get in there. Again, I'm being just really quick, but I'm just kind of highlighting some of his unique features. So now I'm going to add another photo filter. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some brightness because what I want to do is add some light over in that top left corner. I'm going to add, it's like a star or your sun, a little burst here, but to get rid of that black background, you can change the blending mode to screen. All right, so now I just have my light and I'm just going to place it over here. And I'm also going to drop the opacity to somewhere around maybe 70% and good. Now it's blending in there, but I'm also going to add filter, blur, Gaussian blur, just make it a little bit more interesting. I'm gonna keep that at 30 pixels. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a gradient fill. So gradient, go here, you select this last one. This one's gonna be black. So, okay. We're just gonna go over to your gradient tool here. So now we have that selected. We're gonna change our blending mode to soft light. And I'm also gonna change the opacity to about 59%. So we don't come on too strong. And you're basically just gonna take that gradient tool that you selected here and just slide from the top to the bottom here. And you're gonna see what it does just adds a little bit there. And I'm gonna add a levels adjustment. And what levels allows you to do is basically set your black point and set your what's true black, what's true white. So by raising your black point, you can make it more of a matte like finish. So I'm gonna adjust my darkest point, my shadows to eight as opposed to zero. So just lift that up and I'm gonna change my output levels to 15. All right, so you can see the effect that we have there. So the next thing I'm gonna do after we have our levels complete is I'm gonna add a color lookup table just to give it a final look. So we go here to color lookup, 3D LUT. We're gonna scroll down to Kodak 5218, Kodak 2395. And there you have it. But of course, we're not gonna keep that at 100%. It's just a little bit much. So we're gonna drop the opacity of that LUT down to our liking, somewhere around 40, 41. This is basically how I edited this photo of Disney in Lightroom and Photoshop. If you like what you saw here or you learned a little bit of something, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell to see more future videos like this. And if you aren't already, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can continue to view my content. And we will see you in the next video.